Hi, um, this is a navigation test and a cleaning test for the V5 Pro and I'm gonna test it on powder, baby powder and rolled oats. Um, this will represent um, this will represent um, uh, different types of dirt that um, this vacuum may encounter. Um, now, um, you may call this a big mess test, but I'll just call it a cleaning test and a navigation test um, just to give you an idea how this robot will perform. And I'll set up the tripod and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the tripod set up now and I'm gonna start the robot. I have my I have the remote here. And let's see how it does. Okay, I now have the max max function turned on. And I don't have the I don't have the I don't have the mop attached, just the vacuum. It will just rely on the vacuum to clean. I'm curious how this robot will do cleaning cleaning this. And let's see how it does. Again it uses a random navigation pattern and it simply runs until the battery is low then it, um, it tries to look for for the charging station Again, powder is one of the toughest things for a robot vacuum to clean without a mop. So, it'll be interesting to see how this robot does cleaning powder. Baby powder to be more specific. I mentioned in the article and in my previous video that the V5S is an upgraded version of the X5. Um, I stand corrected. Um, the V5 Pro is actually closer in design to the V5, which I haven't tested. And both of them have really similar features. Only, the only difference I see right now is the color. And this is one of the shortest vacuums in the iLife product line.
it's now in seems like a spot cleaning mode Again, this is I'm, I, robot vacuums will struggle with stuff like powder, a lot of powder. But um, one way to clean it is to use a microfiber mop, which will uh, which I will do. Um, I will post photos in the in the review, and you can see that review in the in the description below. I'll link to it. And it will, and since this robot uses a random navigation pattern, it will take pretty long to get to all of this mess here. But it's pretty thorough. Um, Runtime is close to it's around two hours, so this robot can clean. A small to medium sized house um, thoroughly. This robot does have a max max suction, so I'm just testing it right now. And this is what's left of the mess. Some powder over here. Some powder and some rolled oats scattered over there. And this robot doesn't have any motorized brush so this is not suitable for carpet
Now I'll try to control the robot manually um, just to save on time um, to clean this mess here. And then I'll just attach the mop to finish up um, cleaning this powdery mess. Again, this is the, the, a demonstration of how the remote works. I'll use the arrow, arrow buttons to direct the robot where I want it to clean. Didn't have any didn't have any trouble cleaning the rolled oats. Pretty much picked up most of it. Um, it just, the, the side brushes did scatter. Clumped up oats. Uh, which is a which is a um, typical effect of side brushes. I'm using the remote now to so the robot will turn 15 degrees every time you press the remote it turns 15 degrees in one direction and when you press it turns another 15 degrees And I'll try to use the spot here, in this area here. That's the spot cleaning mode. It turns in a spiral pattern in a small area. You can see there, there are still um, bits and pieces of there's rest, powder residue all over the floor. I'll try to let it back in this part here. See how it does. Again, if you're if you're cleaning a mess like this, um, dried dried powders, um, I would put the microfiber mop on so in terms of power it has more than enough for the air floor and I'll stop the robot now and show you the results and there are bits and pieces of rolled oats that's scattered around the room and there's also um, powder residue on the floor as you can see it's powdered res there's powder residue on the floor um, which can be cleaned up by the microfiber mop I will run this robot again with the mop on so you can see there's the powder residue on the floor and again I'll post pictures of it in the in the review and so make sure to read that for the detailed ana analysis 
how this um, of the features of this robot and thanks again for watching